Get ready. It's another episode of Hemkey at Home. Hey, 612 Pitchers and Catchers. This is part two of the collaboration between myself, Coach Hemke, and uh, Coach Katie, our catching instructor. Last week we had talked about uh, making throws to home in a sort of specific kind of down and low position. That way the catcher can make a nice tag uh, when there are runners coming to home. This week we're gonna be focusing on pass ball scenarios where you as a pitcher don't make your best pitch ever and you get a busted down to home plate so that you can make a tag on someone who is advancing home. Hey guys, I'm back. Super excited to do week two with Coach Rachel. So this week we're talking about pass balls and how a catcher reacts to that. And it's kind of difficult, but once you get down with it, it's super simple. For this drill, you're going to need uh, a good catcher this week. Your catcher is actually gonna get a pretty good workout at home, so make sure that they're ready to work you a little bit. Uh, your job isn't particularly that hard. This week, instead of doing a, a full pitch and sort of then uh, starting the drill, you're just gonna do a fake pitch kind of from back on your mound. And at the end of your pitch, you're gonna book it down to home plate. Uh, and your catcher will be set up at various spots uh, to throw you balls so that you can practice uh, making tags at home. As the pitcher, after you are sprinting, you are actually full-blown running, not just dogging it to home. After your pitch and you're sprinting home, you need to come down nice and low. You are gonna be sort of in the same position uh, as the catcher would be in our other scenario from last week where they're making a play at home. You're gonna be kind of out in front of home plate a little bit. Depending on where your catcher is gonna be, you have to position your body differently. So if my catcher, if the pass ball kind of bounced off to the right, I need to be ready like this. If it's back here, I need to make sure I'm turned like this. If she's far to the left, I need to kind of drop a knee and be ready like this. Katie had talked about last week how when you receive the ball, instead of making a long sweeping tag, you need to take it with both hands and set that tag down really hard. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is flipping your helmet off. Now, I'm not personally a helmet flipper, but it's really up to you. So, when you have your helmet on, and you see that ball is not necessarily coming to you, after you block it, you get your good block, but you realize it went back behind you, right? So, before you can find the ball, sometimes you can't see it, your helmet may not fit right or anything. So, you, as you turn to look for the ball, you're gonna take your thumb underneath your chin and flip it off, all right? It doesn't matter where it goes. See, mine went all the way over there. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. You wanna make it quick, just get that off. Some girls like to grab their face mask, but that takes longer, it can get stuck. So you just wanna take your thumb, under your chin, and drag that up as you're turning to look. So make sure that when you are making tags in this drill, they are very forceful once you have the ball. As the catcher, I want your catcher to be set up from different lengths because during gameplay, the ball is gonna bounce all over the place and it's gonna be different to each pass ball. Some will be super far, some will roll around the fence and your catcher is gonna be scrambling. So I want you to practice receiving a ball that is at different speeds and is from different lengths. So as the catcher, maybe I'm back here, maybe I flip you a couple. Maybe I move back here and I throw overhand some little darts. Maybe from over here, I'm down on my knees and I practice like a little shovel pass. As the pitcher, you need to be ready for all types of different styles of throws that the catcher is gonna make to you. So make sure that you are practicing receiving the ball in different ways, not just always a little underhanded flip because they aren't usually going to be very soft and pillowy for you. They're gonna be awkward. You as the pitcher need to make sure that you are running super fast to get to home plate. You will often see pitchers running 
and they have to catch it while on the move down by their feet because they didn't get there soon enough. So as long as you are totally running after it and you can get down nice and low, it's gonna be a lot less awkward for you to position yourself and catch it and make a tag if you got there as fast as you possibly can. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to actually go retrieve a pass ball and make a good flip to your pitcher. All right, so the ball's coming, you can't make a block and you can't get it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn and flip off your helmet as you're getting up. So flip it off and then you wanna to run to that ball. You don't wanna jog and you wanna get up off your, like, off your thighs. So you're gonna run and as you're doing that, you wanna come around the ball. So you're not just approaching the ball, trying to get a pass and go to your pitcher. It's not gonna work like that. So you wanna go up and around the ball. I preferably get it so that my glove is closer to my pitcher and I can make a nice, easy underhand flip. But if you can't do that, it doesn't matter as long as you're coming around the ball and you have forward motion. So once you're here, you don't wanna pick it up with your glove. That's rule number one of the field. You never pick up a ball with your glove, especially if it's not moving. Just do use your bare hand, it's a lot quicker. If you need some support, you can use your glove as like a backboard, push the ball up there, and that way you have a better grip on the ball. So you came around the ball, you see the girls coming in, you come scoop up the ball, make sure you got a good grip on it, it's okay. If you need to readjust, use your glove and make a good flip. Now it's key, make sure you don't stand up get up that way your the ball is going to go way high you want to stay low with it and make a good controlled flip to your pitcher my last note for today is uh to let all of you pitchers know that pass balls will happen at some point and they happen to everyone and it's totally okay I know that in a game scenario, when it actually happens to you, it sucks and it sort of affects you and your mood a little bit, but you need to remember that the second you have a pass ball and you know that there is a runner on third base, the only thought going through your brain is run. Run as hard as you can. Don't get down on yourself. You can come back on the next pitch or the one after that or the one after that. You'll have more chances. So just make sure that your only thought is run, run, run. Like Coach Rachel said, pass balls happen in every single game at every level. I watch college games where there's still pass balls. So don't get discouraged. Pitchers, I know it can be tough, but catchers, you have to support your pitchers. Go up there, tell them a funny joke, help them out, because it can really hurt their confidence if they have a bunch of pass balls. Catchers, you have to support your pitchers by busting it back there, getting the ball, and making a good toss. It's really important to get the girl out. Everywhere I go, I Stroll around and to the side Ever so often I might Fall over to the left and to the right